The mud house was built in 1885 by Taytree as a family dwelling house. When Taytree became a cocoa proprietor, she needed space to keep the cocoa workers during the cocoa harvesting period. The house is made from compacted mud and there is no skeleton or frame. The double gable roof was made from the branches of trees fell to make way for the house. The sheeting metal is tin which was brought from England. The inner chamber was the family rooms and the upper chamber was used to store grains for the next year's crops of rice and bodhi. In this mud house, many social activities were held. The villagers were invited to prayers and evenings of religious songs or satsang. It was the wish of the owner, Dr. Ram Kumar Chatur, that the mud house be retained as a tribute to our ancestors and their contribution to Trinidad. This excerpt that I just read is from the self-directed tour brochure that I got a few months ago when I visited the mud house in Separia Avocat. So I wanted to say it was truly an amazing experience and I'm happy that they're keeping this part of Trimbago's history alive. It was such an amazing experience for me and I hope this video is educational and informative. So this is rice cake, burpee, gulab jamun, kurma.
Our forefathers came from India, right? No. But when they came in? No, from the Right, okay. And in what year? 1845. Right. Now, it had more bosakim, right? And 25 rupees for meals. So they had to come for 10 years. And um, three years, they had to stay in the estate. So this years, is a little night stand here. So on the way, well, they, well, well, they cannot fit in there alone, so they were misunderstood by um, the Englishmen, and they were often um, beaten and stuff like that. And so, no matter, um, and some of the salt, pepper, mustard, spices, ghee. My Aja had a bicycle like this and he had a hat like that too. Mom, where Aja hat? And he bike. And he started going like me. Yeah. Yeah. And he just had this one. And this was all they had like in the tombs. So this is Aji's kitchen. So they have the old school grater. This is what they used to grate the coconut on. See, they have two. This is like a jar now to strain. So like, um, if you want to strain rice or noodles, or um, they would make a lot doing this as well. This is um, water cups, so they would drink water in this, and they would also use this to measure like rice and flour and all those things. This, this is what they used to keep their medicine in, and they would store like oil and stuff in here as well. This is a tree, so like when um, they have weddings and they want to do the tree for Friday night, night magical, and, and they will share pears that are sweets or whatever when they have prayers. Um, so they have a bigger tree here. And I'm sure they would put cocoa in here too. Um, so these are buckets, pots. So you see these old school pots? Look at the... Um, it's the chicken. So each pot had a um, specific Purpose. So this one was to make the chicken, this was for the eggs, um, this was probably for water, Milking or to milk, milk the cow. Milk. And then here they have a chulha or fireside, so this is where they used to cook. So they would put the wood under here, and then they would place the pot here to cook. And they cook me. <laughs> so this is a cook me, so they, they used to blow the fire with it, so they would do this. <laughs> so like, um, to make the fire stronger or yeah, simpler. Yeah. 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 So this yeah. is simpler. So when you're making roti, a simpler. A simpler. So you're making roti, 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 a simpler. So
So you pick up your idea and you flip it or you pull it off. And this was the fun rice. Fun fire. Oh no. Fun rice. Okay. Take, take and it this on. was to fun the rice. Look at next to the yes, no one. Um, this is a grass knife, a grass cutter. This is a pure hog, so it's like a little stool. They would sit on the stool here and cook their food. And bar it on the This is a dog with me. This is a dog with me. This is an ice shaper to make snow cone. This is a tower or a griddle. And these are the enamel cups. Long time ones. Or bar So, um... Wares means barton. So all these are called barton. And this is where they used to sell the beans. So they have red beans, early beans, mung beans, um, black eyed peas, capers, I mean, dal, lentils. They have all the beans up here stored. Um, then this is a okri and musar, or some people might say a um, modern pestle, a big of a modern pestle. This is the harvest from their garden, so they will have it on the table here. Um, they have their pepper, all their basic stuff that they will cook with every day. So they have the, the sill and the laura here. This big stone here is the sill, and the, the grinding stone that they used to grind the season is the laura. This is another grinding stone um, here. So they have coconut or they call it boli. This one is the boli. Um, they have salt which is called nimak. Turmeric which is called haldi or we call it saffron. A small more down vessel. Um, pani, kagara, this is what they put water in. Algaila. Um, they store stuff in it. So this is algaila, you could store stuff in it, I guess water as well. This is a beruna or a rolling pin, a chowki. This is what they used to roll out the dough, the roti dough. And Tarela fresh is another grinding stone, it's called jata. This is the next grinding stone, and it's called jata. Um, and those are the big basins. So you see how huge? How huge is this basin? And this is all the puja stuff, prayer stuff. So they would put incense in there. This is to offer the jal in the morning or water. Um, and then this is the typical enamel cup that we know. We have a few of these at home. Um, this is a cultural or a ladle. So this is a very old one here. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. And this is the ghee, the most popular brand of ghee that we use. Look, they have plates. This is old a very enamel. old school um, enamel plate. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed seeing this little piece of history. And you can see the wood in the fireside as well. I forgot to show you that. So this was this is a big chola or a big fireside. So they would light it up and cook their food. And they call the pot Haria, and you see they have the coconut oil in the back. They used to cook with coconut oil. They didn't know anything about canola oil and vegetable oil yet. And they have the nice, they have a nice little back door here where Aji would come out and go and wash her pots and she have her next okri and musar here and then in the night she'll close up this she close up her door and put it inside the <laughs> So this is what they used to store water in for the animals so it's quite empty right now and then that's the outhouse of the latrine in the back and the bathroom so, go ahead.